Hello friends, welcome back to Stacking Cash. Today's video will be featuring an update on Xpeng's new flying car, Xpeng Aero X2. If you're not familiar with the Xpeng flying car, I would recommend to watch my first video about it, which will be down there in the description. The latest information about the Xpeng flying car is that it has passed a specific operational risk assessment in Dubai, gaining permission to make its first overseas public flight there, the flying car division of Xpeng Motors said last week. Last month, the company advanced in its low altitude operational risk assessment and validation of the flying car in Dubai, with X2 passing two key risk assessments in Dubai. X2's passing of the assessments in Dubai is the first time a Chinese manned autonomous flying vehicle has completed an operational risk assessment outside of China, Xpeng Motors said. X2 will conduct the first overseas public flight demonstration in Dubai, signifying an important step on the road of globalization for Xpeng Aero, the company said. X2 will participate in the 42nd GTEx Global event in Dubai, which this year will feature more than 4,000 companies and 100,000 attendees from 170 countries and regions, Xpeng Arrow noted. X2 is the fifth generation of Xpeng Arrow's two-person smart electric flying vehicle, a project that began in November 2020 and successfully has made its maiden flight in China in June 2021. Last July, Xpeng's chairman and CEO He Xiaopeng officially announced the launch of X2 via Weibo, saying this marks another step closer to a more widely available and safe flying car. The X2 is a two-seat enclosed cockpit pure electric flying car with autonomous flight path planning capabilities, ground monitoring, self-service return landing and 100km two-way real-time communication. X2 has an unladen weight of 560 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 760 kilograms. It has a maximum cruise speed of 130 km per hour and a range of 35 minutes. This March, Xpeng Aero shipped the flying car to the Netherlands, marking the X2's European debut. The company did not have a flying demonstration in Europe at that time. I'm really digging this Xpeng project and I believe that they're having good progress with it. Sure, this will not be easy and probably this will not be making much profits for Xpeng at the moment. But who knows, maybe this project will be a wild success and eventually the X2 could be able to lift a heavier weight and it could have longer range. You can let me know in the comments what you think about this project and if you think that it will be successful or it's just a cash burning machine. If you have enjoyed this video and like this type of content, I would recommend to subscribe to my channel for more future videos about these topics.